um, abdominal aortic aneurysm is a disease which happens in the aorta in our body. And aorta is one of the biggest artery in our body. When the blood, when the heart is pumping, it pumps the blood to the aorta, which is which is a big tube inside our body. It drains from the uh, heart through the thorax, and then it goes all the way down to the abdomen and then to the lower limb. And this artery, which normally is around two to three centimeter in size, but uh, if it becomes diseased, it can dilate, and then result in what we call an aneurysm, which is um, an abnormal dilatation of the artery. So when it's in the when this aorta is inside the abdomen, we call it the abdominal aorta. So when it's abnormally dilated, we call it abdominal aortic aneurysm. Now when the aorta becomes dilated, the risk is um if it become it becomes too much dilated, it can rupture. So once it ruptures the blood can go inside the tummy and the patient can die immediately. And if um, the aneurysm rupture and the patient does not have any operation, the chance of death is 100%. Even though the patient can um, go into the hospital and undergo an operation, the risk of death is, it, it ranges from um, 50% to 90%. So it's still very high chance of dying um, even though the patient can undergo the operation. If we can repair the aneurysm, before it rupture, then the chance of um, death is much, much lower. And uh, usually if we can lower the, 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 the chance of death from the operation to less than one to two percent nowadays. Um, in Hong Kong, we don't have our own figure. So, um, but from the studies um, um, from the US, um, uh, what we know is is not an uncommon problem. Um, in patients who, in, in the population of more than 45 years old and who are at, at uh, risk of this problem, the incident is around 11 cases per uh, 100,000 uh, population. So it's not a um, rare problem. And, and more and more, because you know, in Hong Kong, um, our uh, population is getting older and older. Yeah, more and more elderly patients in, in the population. So we find that this problem is getting more and more common. We see more and more cases of this problem.